pictures I've made in the past year. This one here, this is the Cliffs of Moher uh, on the Galway coast, right in the west of Ireland. On a rare day when it wasn't raining, we saw a raven flying above the cliffs. It was absolutely fantastic. This painting here, it's a still life with tea and biscuits. And what I thought I'd do is a modern take on the painting that Van Gogh made in 1888 called Still Life with Onions. And what I've done is brought it all up to date. And here's a sweet little painting. It's of our cats, Skipper and Dibble. They sit, like to sit on the windowsill and watch the birds on the feeder out of our window. I have a bit of a thing about brown hairs and I made quite a lot of brown hair paintings this year. It started with a painting on which this small hand printed dry point is made. This has proved very popular. It's of a hair with hair bells, as simple as that. But while I'm making a painting, this one in particular, quite often I get other ideas. Last year in the meadow behind our house there were a huge number of beautiful wild flowers. So I thought I'd have a go at painting some hairs with wild flowers. Here's one with knapweed and chamomile. And the butterfly in the middle is a meadow brown of which there seem to be thousands in the field feeding on the knapweed. But I wasn't quite sure that that was the background that I wanted. So I thought, well, I'll have another go. I came up with this one, which was so much brighter. I love those colours. I just love those colours. And out of that came another idea. Three brown hairs. And again, with that beautiful green to blue background and some gorgeous stars at the top. I loved painting this one. Those colours are so pretty. I've also been thinking a lot about environmental issues. I always do, but particularly this spring, I was anxiously awaiting the arrival of the new growth. So I thought that I would paint the green man, the ancient forest spirit. And I was wondering, as I lay in bed one night, what he would put on his hat. So I thought, well, to find out, I better paint it. And so we've got all kinds of things on here. There's a little wood mouse. There's a frog. Three feathers. There's a green woodpecker, a pheasant, and a barn owl. And at the top, there's a song thrush singing his beautiful song. I was pleased with that one. And as ever, when I'm painting something, another idea emerges. Here's the green man again, in a different hat, advising us on how we can live our lives in a more sustainable way. And then, since the arrival of spring, we've been going out on a lot of walks every day, watching spring emerge and on the beautiful lane on which we live, all the blossom is coming out. And so I've been trying to paint some of those things. Here's a little view, it's about a quarter of a mile from here down the lane. This painting was very quick to make. It only took me an afternoon. Um, I had to work from a photograph because of course we're self-isolating and we can't, I can't stop to set up my brushes out in the field. Um, but I wanted to try something a bit different with this and this is done entirely with big brushes. I so enjoyed doing this that I thought I'd have another go with a different view. And on a much larger sheet of paper, here's the beautiful cherry blossom at the bottom of the lane. Thanks for watching. I hope you like what you see.